Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim, putting my shoes on. This is like uh, Mr. Rogers, wasn't that it? He'd come in every day and put his shoes on, take one pair off, put a pair on. So uh, it is 7.52. Um, I'm going to go check the mail. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to take a run. And I just had some bacon this morning uh, and my coffee. This morning I made the gold coffee. I broke out the gold. Uh, I've been drinking the heck out of that Maxwell house only because Miss Raffaella gave it to me. She left this. She didn't leave it. She told me to have it. That big thing of Maxwell house and my big thing of gold, uh, the uh, Highlander Grog. I just got it uh, thanks to a subscriber that uh, got it for me. And it was the best cup of coffee I ever drink in my life. This morning I had a pot and I'm going to get another uh, cup now, maybe at McDonald's. Someone told me um, if you get the sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin without the muffin, you know, you could you could eat that. And I thought, well, that's a good deal. And they have that uh, on the app uh, two for two dollars breakfast sandwiches. So that could be uh, that could be pretty good. And um, so I'm going to go and enjoy that. Thanks to Elizabeth and her husband. Uh, that are moving to Florida next summer, uh, sent me some coffee money last night, told me to enjoy a cup of coffee today on them, and I just want to give them a shout out. I appreciate your support. Uh, they are moving uh, full-time in an RV. They have a, a 36-footer, uh, and uh, they want to live in it, and they want to live in Florida, and starting next summer, and so we'll welcome those, new, um, those newbies uh, next year. I hope that your dreams come true. And uh, that you get down here, I think that they're um, looking in this area, actually. Um, there's, so, there's so many nice areas of Florida, I can't say this is the best. It's definitely warm. Uh, be prepared for all that. And the mosquitoes and, uh, you know, a mile from the sun and hot and humid at night at 3 in the morning and all of that. But, <coughs> excuse me, 23 million people can't be wrong. They're coming here in droves. Um, so good luck to that. And thanks again for your support. I appreciate it. Um, so we're going to go this morning and, uh, and do those things. Now I'm making, I woke up this morning. I feel like I kind of fasted yesterday. I didn't eat much of anything. I had no breakfast. And then for lunch, I went to Publix grocery store and I got a, um, I didn't know what I was going to buy. I was going to buy some meat roll-ups, more meat. <laughs> And as I was walking in, they had a salad bar right in the beginning of the grocery store with some hot stuff. And I said, well, what do they got that's kind of like, and I saw um, this fish and it was, uh, oh, habit, ha hot, haddock, codic, something like that. And uh, I said, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not picky though. And then I saw this other fish and it said salmon. I go, I'm in. There were two bigger pieces and one tiny one that somebody cut in half, I guess. I got them all. It was five bucks. And I took that to Fred and Raffaella's <coughs> and ate it. She was going to make me bacon and eggs in the middle of the day, which I got nothing against. And it's what, you know, it's part of my diet. But I went over there to pick up my new Baconator that I used this morning. It's a round uh, microwave bacon cooker. And um, I think it's one minute per slice, but in my microwave... It was a little longer than that, so I had to put it back in. So I made two slices as a uh, sample, and I had that. This got cut off there by an alarm that went off to remind me of something. So I had that with my coffee, and I'm going to try that now. I'm going to try to narrow my window, as I was speaking yesterday with a uh, subscriber of mine, to uh, only eat between, uh, you know, maybe 10 and 4 or 12 and 6, trying to close the window. Now, I ate this morning, right? I had the bacon, so that's eating. Uh, and and I really, all respect to everybody, especially one in particular, and God bless him, uh, Jim Bauer. He's a, uh, a subscriber, and he comments all the time. He, he's getting impatient with me because I want to deviate from meat. <laughs> easy, easy, Jim. Uh, I started talking yesterday about incorporating some vegetables again and, you know, and, and working with, and I know, I get it. It's not a diet. 
It is a lifestyle. It has all of these health benefits. And look, I've been doing it for over two weeks. And I'm definitely getting stronger because of all the protein I'm taking in. I don't crave broccoli. I never have. In fact, I should have eaten more vegetables in my life. Um, and I'm not craving the, uh, the oatmeal raisin cookies and the cakes and the pies either. Or Diet Cokes. I mean, so I think I'm doing pretty good. So uh, take it easy on me. I, I'm doing very well, I think. And then, of course, my exercise, since I got back from Georgia, from running from the storms, has really kicked in just a few days now. And that's getting back to the gym. That's really kicking it up. I mean, I'm really excited about that. And I'm so excited that I don't want to stop. You know, it's an addiction. So I'm seeing a little bit more cutting and form. I definitely feel it. I can definitely put up more weight. Uh, yesterday, I, I went up those stairs you see me climb at the uh, park, the tower, uh, twice. Um, I wanted to do three, but I was just whew, after two. And then I ran. And I ran from, you know, one end of that lake to the other is a mile. These, these guys row. It's a, it's a world champion rowing they have there annually at Nathan Benderson Park. <clears throat> and so it was very windy yesterday. So I ran with a tailwind, and it's more of a trot. Uh, you know, I'm working up on that too. You, that starts to gain as you start to run, and any runners will uh, will attest to that. You run one day, and then the next day you can run a little further. You know, in between stops. And so, I'm trying to move that right there. Um, I like the trotting, and and then I. I gave up on it when I turned around and the wind was blowing so hard at me. It, it was just after climbing the stairs and everything else and really no carbs in me. Uh, I just didn't have it in me. So I, I just walked briskly and I got probably about two miles. I'm sure I got two miles in, but I'm not getting the 10,000 steps like I was doing um, a, a few months ago when that's all I was doing. Uh, but between the gym yesterday, climbing those stairs, uh, a run walk, um, I had pretty good self-esteem when I came home last night. And, um, and, and the food intake yesterday was, was lower. You know, I didn't sit there and just gorge on lunch meat and cheese. And no more cheese. Um, I know that the heavy cream and my coffee. See, when I talk about only this, I get a lot of people commenting, it's a very hot topic, nutrition, health, and diet. And I'm glad to see that a lot of Americans are cognizant of eating healthy and buying the organic and the farm-raised and the grass-eaten uh, and, the, and the neutered cows and all of that. You know, it's kind of coming on me strong. As I evolve and um, become more educated about it, you know, I'm sure it will be a lifestyle for me as well. Let me tie my shoes um, as I talk to you. I got to get out of here. Uh, I'll, I'll just pause here for a second because you can't see me. All right, we're back. So uh, I'm smelling pretty good right now. I'm smelling my own cologne. I put some of that um, uh, Aqua de Gio. I'm going to hear it in the comments from this one person. Um, and that's some good smelling stuff. You want to get your man something. Get this right here. Uh, you can find it. I, I buy the travel uh, size. Right there. It's uh, Aqua de Gio. Somebody says it's Aqua de Joe. I don't, I don't know about that. And it's the uh, Age de Tolle, whatever you say. It's not the Parfum. It's the, uh, you know, not a strong uh, type. And look. Look here. I got two of them. Uh, I bought one. I received one as a gift. I'm very appreciative of it. And it does smell very, very good. Don't leave it in your car. Don't leave it in the sun. Keep it in the cool area and all of that. All right. We got the uh, the bedroom ready. I didn't know what size, what, what shorts to wear today or whatever. I did my laundry yesterday. I took a shower this morning. I wiped off the sleep. I shaved. Man, I was looking at myself in a video yesterday. 
I remember when I was younger, I couldn't even grow uh, whiskers, you know? And now, in a couple of days, this gets kind of hairy and, and white. I don't like it. So I cut it down, baby. I cut it down. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to turn this air conditioning up before I get out of here. And we'll finish up the, uh, the video here before we go and uh, get us a senior coffee at McDonald's and buy someone else something. Uh, we'll probably see our lovely... Uh, person there at the uh, window. She's very nice. And I'm telling you, that McDonald's coffee is good. It is good. And this morning, like I say, I, I, I come off the Maxwell house and I got the gold, baby, the gold, the high. Oh, I'm going to put this in this when uh, this is gone. But <laughs> I got quite a bit in there. So this seals very well. I'll probably just leave it in that. So there you go. Coffee, baby. It's the best cup of coffee you ever had in your life. Um, so I got some... Uh, oh, I got to go check my mail. I ordered on Amazon. I got free Prime. You know, a couple times a year, if you don't do it, they'll offer it to you for 30 days. This is like the third time I've gotten it. I'm not a big Amazon shopper. I hope you are. Use my link. Um, but I, I did need a couple of things. You know what I bought? One of those knobs I have on my truck for the Honda, for the CC Rider. I'm getting a, uh, uh, one of those knobs. Every time I drive the car, I look for it because it, it is so cool in the Tundra. So anyway, I ordered one of those and I got a new selfie stick. And um, I bought some accessories for my gun because uh, that's the gun that was stolen from me uh, of some way, way back. And it took a year to get it back. And I don't know, they ghettoed it up. They put on these gold pieces on it. And I'm putting it back to stock and some glow-in-the-dark sights. So that's coming in the mail. Um, and what else did I order? Uh, I was going to tell you guys. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I ordered on Amazon. And, oh, I got the Prime. And it's like, I ordered it yesterday. And they're telling me on an email, hey, it's here. You got it. I'm like, that's pretty cool. At 24 hour, but if it's on a weekend, uh, you know, you're not going to get it, I don't think, until, you know, Monday or something like that. But I've got something that was delivered yesterday. I was just out and I couldn't get to my mailbox, so I'll do that. And speaking of mailboxes, if you guys would still like me to procure a UPS uh, mailbox to receive uh, cards and letters for the holidays, if you'd like to send me a, a happy holidays card or whatever, I would. Um, Gladly get one, and uh, you guys can send it there if you'd like, like we did last year. We're going we're gonna to decorate uh, the wall with all the cards like we did last year, and I'm going to get a little tree uh, like we did last year and put it down here, probably sit it on top of that blue eddy or something. And it was very nice in here, if you remember. I, I really, really liked how it looked. It really made me feel in the mood and the spirit of it. Uh, I was noticing um, somebody's got a bunch of pumpkins and stuff out there uh, that they've put around their place and they're getting ready for the for the uh, Halloween thing. You know, years ago, I used to go to a church and it was um, a very strict church and they were anti-Halloween. They said it was the devil's day. And uh, maybe there is a lot of Satanists out there that do celebrate that holiday. But as a kid, we just knew it was getting candy. You know, you go trick-or-treating, you get candy. We didn't read any more into it. Uh, but this church I went to, they were, they were, don't let your kids go trick-or-treating, and, and uh, that's the devil's holiday. So some of the churches, you know, they can be very strict and with rituals and, and all that. Um, but again, uh, holidays are what I was, you know, raised to believe in was just getting candy and then, of course, Christmas was Jesus' birthday. We had Christmas trees. That we, I still call it a Christmas tree. And we gave gifts. You know, I'm a traditionalist. And that's just the way I am. I'm the old school values. And um, so anyway, um, we're going to get out there this morning. We're going to pump it up. And we're going to have a great day. We're going to talk to some people. We're going to promote. We're going to do everything I can Um to, to help others and myself, keep a good attitude, and we're going to get the car washed. We're going to, you know, the same old stuff. Now, <clears throat> what's in the future? Hey, maybe today's a good day for golf. I haven't played golf in so long, I keep forgetting about it. 
A good friend of mine uh, that I've made the acquaintance of through YouTube uh, wants to buy an RV. And he's about ready to pull the trigger. He's looked at two or three, uh, him and his wife. And um, he had a smaller one. Now he wants a bigger one, but not too big. And he wants, he thinks he's got one more, one more trip in him. And so we've been talking. He's putting the seed in my mind about going back to Bullhead City and Laughlin. And of course, when we're there, that's only an hour and a half from Vegas. We'll be seeing Johnny Vegas and stuff as well. And then maybe uh, the others, Timmy Appleseed, uh, Temecula J, and anybody else that would like to show up and uh, meet in a neutral uh, spot that isn't too far for anybody to come, except for me, all the way from Florida. Uh, we'll, we'll get out and play some golf, go to dinner, do something like that, and uh, have a good time. And, and that should be something because nobody's promised tomorrow, folks. You know, uh, anything can happen. And um, so live your life. If there's anything you want to be doing, you better get at it. Because people that think they have forever, you just don't know. And it's got nothing to do with anything about what might happen to our country. It's your own personal health. I mean, any day, I'm 65, any day I could start to evolve into something where, you know, I start changing my, my whole attitude about what I want to do, how I want to live, how afraid I am of certain things like traveling, pulling a trailer and all that. So while you still have it and you're ready to crush it, keep crushing it. Crush it every single day. Do not take a day for granted. Do not take people for granted. Do not take the universe for granted because you get out of this world what you put into it. And all the naysayers out there that just are unhappy with themselves and they want to try and bring everybody else down, just ignore them. Just ignore them. Pray for them. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. But turn it off. Turn the media off. Turn all that negative stuff off. Keep thinking on good things. And that's what you're instructed to do by the good Lord. And I want to say thank you again so much um, for the community at large in my channel that continue to encourage and support me every day. And once again, I had to repeat myself. I got to get some new material. I know that. I don't answer every comment. And I've always said, I don't just hit that little heart button or a thumbs up button on every comment and just go down through it. I know some YouTubers do that. Like, hey, I acknowledged you, but I didn't read your comment though. <laughs> I read the comments and I answer as many as I can. I do not do that cheat sheet. So if your comment uh, didn't get an answer or it was uh, not a little heart sent to you or something like that, please, I read it. I, I, I do, I read them all. And uh, I make time a couple of times a day I'm in my car. I mean, this has become a prison job. It really is. I mean, I'm out all the time trying to make some content. I got to sit there and go through and look at the video and, um, you know, take out something where I, you know, was fumbling over my words or whatever. We don't edit around here. You can't believe a damn thing I say. So it's a lot of fun, though. It's a great life. Um, and this is a great camper. I've got a great setup. Uh, I've been told by others lately that have encouraged me uh, to reinforce the decisions that I've made in life that, you know, when these storms came, I'm living here in Florida, I was able to just hook up and get out of Dodge. You know, I, I put the, uh, the Honda somewhere safe and then I just hooked up and I took my underwear and socks and left with everything. I, all I had to do was, you know, take this vase down and put it in the chair over here. And a couple of things I didn't want to topple over. Don't look at my dishes. I got to clean those. Got my Baconator in there. And just go. And wherever I go, I'm home. And I had a good time in Georgia with Fred and Raffaella. We weren't in a hotel room. And the idea of traveling again and, and, and traveling with the crasher is getting very exciting. And if my friend buys a, a coach, um, we don't necessarily have to travel together. We may travel together one day and break off. We may stay a few days together. We may meet each other out there, whatever it is. I don't want to, you know, roll up on anybody. And, and at the same time, I don't want anybody rolling up on me. We got to do our own thing. But it's, it's cool when you do get uh, other RVs that you're going to meet at a certain place. You know, I'll just see you there, you know?
You can do it like that because maybe they want to stay at a, at a Love's and I want to stay at an RV park or vice versa. Maybe one wants to stay at a, a Cracker Barrel and the other wants to stay at a Walmart, you know, while we're traveling. So sometimes it's better just like, hey, I'll see you there. <laughs> but to be able to go somewhere and to, and to have a, a friend there too and to meet other friends and other people in the community as I travel, I've got subscribers all across the country that may want to come out, play some golf, have a cup of coffee, uh, dinner or something like that. We're, we're open for that too. So these are some of the things that uh, I'm thinking about in my mind um, right now for a couple of weeks. I got to stay grounded. Uh, I don't have any doctor's appointments or anything like that, but we got to vote and, you know, you can't be away from your voting poll. I don't have, I don't know why I don't have, I, I, I changed my address when I came over here, but um, I don't have a mail-in. Um, so I'm going to go in person and I'm not going to do anything before then anyway. But remember, traveling, you don't want to go anywhere near the desert in the summer and you don't want to go anywhere, any northern areas in the winter, you know, when everybody comes to Florida, because it's going to be cold, man, cold, snow, ice. I don't do that. No, I don't do that. So I don't even have any pants except my cowboy jeans. Maybe Cowboy Tim will loan me a pair. But, um, you know, we can take care of that. But uh, we take the southern route, you know, the 10, the 20, and, and go out west. I don't see anywhere else to go. I, I don't, not, nothing against the Northeast. I've never been there in my life, so that's probably why I just don't know what I'm missing. Uh, but now's the time. And it's already getting too cold, right? So I guess that's over. <laughs> I, back, I guess back in the spring was the time. So um, it looks like, you know, Laughlin, Vegas, Bullhead City, all those out there uh, going through New Mexico. And man, the nights is cool. Uh, the days is only like 80. I mean, Johnny Vegas told me it was only like in the 70s in Vegas for a week. So things have changed. And I remember my first trip out there with the Cramper. And I was staying at the Tropicana. And at night, and in the morning, I'd wake up, I'd put a jacket on. Then it warm up to like 80, 82, sunny, gorgeous, no humidity. It felt amazing. Plus the view of those mountains in that desert was such a, a strange thing to see with the temperature you felt. Beautiful temperature. And you're looking at like a, a very harsh uh, desert that you can tell it gets scorched in the summer for eons. Uh, so... The, the beauty that you see and the weather that you feel with the low humidity and the Gulf and the people and the Colorado River and uh, the Riverside uh, Casino there where you can stay and uh, the pool they give you access to. There's other RV spots around there too. You can go to Kingman, wonderful golf courses, a very short drive and a beautiful, a beautiful drive up back up through those mountains and much lower temperatures too. So, you know, got to keep that window of travel because it can get chilly up there. Flagstaff, tons of snow. You don't even want to be going down the 40 where, you know, there's they, they close it, you know, due to storms of, of snow. And I don't want to be pulling this and something like that. And so I don't know if that comes in January, February, or if it happens in November, December. Uh, but maybe for the holidays, I might take myself as a Christmas gift to me a trip back out and back here. This is where I live. This is where I will return. Um, and then again, you can't believe a damn thing I say. Uh, I could end up living out there. Maybe I'm going to go out there and just say, you know what? This is it. Uh, but it's hard to get away from Florida, uh, especially this time of the year. Everybody's going to be here. And uh, anyway, let's, let's make this one short so it'll upload. Uh, they get past, uh, you know, this time right here, and it takes them a little while. And I don't like the videos to come out too late for you guys. I know a lot of you like to see them a little earlier. It's 8.17. That's not even that early. Uh, but some of you, uh, it's weekend. You're sitting around the house. You got nothing to do. Let's get out there and crush it.